Hey guys, what's up? This is Vlad here from Random HD Gaming, and today I'll be showing you how to do color correction in Sony Vegas Pro 9. So, yes, um, so here's a preview how it's gonna look like. So, here, as you can see, I know it's all laggy because something my computer's pretty like, slow today, I have no idea why. So yeah, and I'll just put half. So it looks pretty cool. And yes, actually I actually have a video of it and I'll show you one second. Here is the video. It's pretty nice quality. Cool color correction, so yeah. First what you would like to do, open your Sony Vegas Pro 9. And you wanna go into properties, this button or just go on to fi file properties or alt enter and make sure you have frame rate just uh, go like this and put 60 so 60 frames per second with uh, 12 uh, 1280 by 720 square um, non non 32 bit floating point full range one aligner best uh, gaussian motion blur gaussian uh non uh make sure you uh so yeah here you all done don't mind that you don't need that click apply and make sure you click start all pr all new projects with these settings apply okay and there you have this and yeah so next what you would like to do is uh, get your clip obviously import it in that import media and then you pick the clip you want I got some videos like on 300 gigs per lot and here you would like to click this event effects and yeah don't mind this I just need to delete all these stuff I'll tell you what to put in so uh, here how it looks like original pretty crappy and yeah one second just I'll show you a good point there I'll click this oh wait 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 another thing click this the middle thing event pan crop click it right click and click match source add spec and then click the event effects add uh, brightness and contrast double click then add um, HSL adjust F HSL adjust fill light then another thing on sharp mask and soft contrast and that's it okay i'm just going to put a sharp mask here i mean there so here we have first soft contrast and first setting you want to put a stretch range zero i have this already saved a uh, stretch range zero contrast 50 and all other ones zero the next to in sharp mask and here is an in sharp mask Amount 500, 500 in here, threshold 0, fill light, uh, 33, uh, 0.24, 0.42, you have that original, so yeah, and that's 50, strength, BS 0, thin 0, and softness 0. Then you want to go HCL adjust, go to the thing. And you want to put 98, 0 0.98, and saturation 1.25. And then brightness and contrast, uh, you want to put brightness a 0 0.8, and contrast 13, and contrast center 0 0.50. That's so original. I'm just going to put this full. So look there, it's pretty nice. And yeah, I record in full HD. Actually, I record in half size, but this for this clip I record full size, just a few seconds. I don't really record in the uh, full size because my my graphics card lags, and I don't have really awesome graphics cards, so I record in half size. And I record 90 or 60 FPS, so yeah. So you can just mess around with these settings, and uh, yeah. So you can see yourself mess around here fill light and all that shit so yeah this is not all done no actually it isn't already done so here's the clip 
I know it's laggy because yeah I got all this TV lag for everyone and yeah here's it's all done and you can mess around with these settings and yeah and make sure you have these settings as I told you if, if you're like using a dazzle don't even bother you can use this video but don't put 60 fps because that's records in 30 fps i think i'm not sure but yeah i think and now i'll show you how to render out this thing so yeah and okay you want to click file uh click render as and put sony avc mp4 there click that and go to default templates just click that click custom and ABC high definition 1280 720 leave that yeah Cabellic frame rate 60 make sure it's on 60 non uh bit rate 14 uh, 40 million so yeah you should have that maybe already pixel aspect radio on thousand audio ABC stereo just leave that system MP4 and put video rendering quality best and click OK and then click save save and it should start rendering so yeah um so yeah I'll include this video at the end so thank you for watching please rake uh oh yeah I'll I might make a After Effects color correction too how to do an After Effects <coughs> and yeah and <coughs> if you like more tutorials like this uh please uh comment below and tell me what you want and yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe i'll see you later peace I thought you had to cut yourself.